Hey everyone, ever look up at the night sky and wonder where our cosmic neighborhood, the solar system, actually ends? Is it past Neptune, the last planet? Or is it somewhere much, much farther out? Let's take a cosmic road trip to find out. Most of us think of the planets when we picture the solar system. And yeah, Neptune is the last official planet, about 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. But that's just the beginning of the end. Beyond Neptune lies a massive icy region called the Kuiper Belt. This is home to dwarf planets like Pluto and countless icy bodies. It's like a giant cosmic junkyard stretching out for billions of kilometers. But even the Kuiper Belt isn't the final frontier. The true boundary of our solar system is defined by the sun's influence. Imagine the sun is constantly blowing out a stream of charged particles called the solar wind. This solar wind creates a giant magnetic bubble around our system called the heliosphere. The edge of this bubble, where the sun's wind is finally stopped by the interstellar medium, the gas and dust between stars, is called the heliopause. NASA's Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft have actually crossed this boundary, officially entering interstellar space. Voyager 1 did it back in 2012, over 18 billion kilometers from home. But wait, there's more. Even beyond the heliopause, the sun's gravity still holds sway. It's thought to be surrounded by a gigantic, spherical cloud of icy objects called the Oort Cloud. This cloud is so vast and so far away that its outer edge could be up to a light year or more from the sun. We've never seen it directly, but it's believed to be the birthplace of long-period comets. So, where does the solar system end? It's not a simple line, but a series of distant, mysterious frontiers showing just how vast and incredible our little corner of the universe really is. Thanks for joining me on this journey to the edge of space. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more cosmic adventures. See you next time.